Hi everyone, welcome to Shakespeare in Song. We are privileged to have the founder of Kairos, Laura Kekis Serper, as well as her husband and the composer of the piece, Arkady Serper, with us today. This piece was created as part of Kairos' Composer in Residence program. Throughout the years, we've been lucky to have some extraordinary composers create music specifically with Kairos in mind, and in fact, just last month, we featured an original song by Kairos alum, Emil Serper. I've also gotten the opportunity to help Kairo students craft their own original song, which we're excited to share with you down the road. But today, we are here to talk about Shakespeare's It Was a Lover and His Lass. Arkady, this isn't the only one of Shakespeare's works you've set to music. What do you find particularly compelling about his words? Uh, every, everything. Like being a chess player in the past, and I mean, present, hopefully too, and, and other. I notice when you play the strong partner, it brings the best in you. I'm, I've always been attracted to the very, very high level poetry. And Shakespeare is arguably the best poetry written in English language ever. And when I, every time I look at this, I'm, I get inspired because it's just so incredible, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Um, so what's the first step in setting an existing text to music? How do you find musical inspiration from the words? With, with this particular uh, poem, it was really funny because we were in the ending one of Kairos rehearsals. I think we were working already on Twelfth Night and I look at this poem, you know, there's a wonderful and old rendition, Renaissance rendition of wonderful composer Thomas Morley uh, of the same text, it was a lover of his lesson. I love it, and, but uh, I was like, it's, a, it's such a great, playful, fun poem. And the Renaissance idea of playfulness in ours may be slightly different now. And I was just, it's funny, because I was driving, I was driving from rehearsal and I was just thinking, it was a lover and his lesson. It was a lover at his lesson. And then I, and, and then the whole thing like, and I just you know, came like, you know, like a lightning bolt. But I, and when I came home and just, you know, I charged up, I fired up Sibelius and the whole thing was ready in less than a couple hours. Laura, can you tell us what inspired you to choose this piece for Kairos? How do you decide a piece might be a good fit for the group? And what do you hope the kids will get from the piece? A few things come to mind and they're all probably connected. One, that it's, pleasurable and easy to sing and this is the case with a lover and his last written by arcadi it's accessible it's easy to sing two that it is connected with deep roots to something powerful for young minds educationally in this case it's shakespeare it's the nice harmonic elements that arcadi wrote it's a well-structured piece and finally, the most important element for me is that it inspires and exudes a sense of joy. Um, Arkady, how does knowing who you're writing for impact the way you write? It's joy and, you know, it's innocence and it's uh, uh, incredible. You know, the children's voices are so expressive. As adults, unfortunately, we get, I mean, as we get older, we get maybe wiser for the wear, but we also lose a little bit of this incredible connection between you know, kind of soul nature, humanity connection that kids have by default. And uh, that's why, I mean, there's something about children's voices that uh, are very, very inspiring. Okay. I want to ask about the film that we're about to watch, which I know you produced. Uh, what was the inspiration behind the images that you chose? How did you try to represent visually uh, what we all are about to hear? Thank you, Asher. Well, um, as Arkady mentioned, I, I think unconsciously I was going for that burst of creative energy that probably came through to Arkady in his writing. The joy of spring, the beauty of flowers and nature and all the things that are abundant right now around us. It has the theme, sweet lovers love the spring. It has a playfulness about it. So for me, when I produce something, I kind of, I, I have this feeling of it, no children are harmed in the production of this film. Um, I want them to have fun in doing it. So given the fact that we're in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> and our children can't have the usual amount of fun that they have, which is usually interactive, I decided I would film small vignettes, which you'll see, or montages of children playing, but the ones who are playing close together are siblings. That's the secret. And each of them are choosing to do something they love to do in springtime. So you'll see that joyful play. And then I had partnership. I had partners with you, Asher, helping me um, collect the footage for the 
for the video. And then um, Dan Serper, who is my stepson and our Cotty son, Dan Serper is an audio engineer and helped us with the final compilation. So you'll see some surprises in there, some fun again, all bringing to light Shakespeare's text and Arcadi's joyful music. So I hope everybody will enjoy. Thank you so much. And with that, we hope you enjoy the upcoming song, It Was a Lover and His Lass, composed by Arcadi Serper, written by William Shakespeare. <laughs> 